Oh, backyard butler. More lemonade, please. Absolutely per- What? That's outrageous! Well, the Pampered Pooch Pavilion won't be getting my business at those prices! Now, who can I get to watch my new Pooch Woochie when I go downtown for a while? Yeah! Aha! Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Perfect. What? Miss Meanie, if this is about my late rent... I'll make a deal with you, Woodpecker. Watch my new dog for the afternoon. I'll forget that you're a week late on the rent. Dog, huh? Yeah, gee, I don't think so. Don't make me point out Article 64, Paragraph 11, Section 3 of your rental agreement. The Woodpecker will dog sit any time the landlady wants him to, or he will be kicked out on his tail feathers faster than he can say, ah, 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 and whatever you do, don't feed my little Poofy. Aw, oh, he has a condition. <laughs> He's not to eat anything between meals! What do we have here? Miss Minnie's new poofoofy. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, oh. So you come to visit your Uncle Wally, huh? Eh? <laughs> Wally, give me the dog. I'm watching him for Miss Meanie, and she said... Oh, a fine job you're doing, Woodpecker. Wally, you gotta listen to me. Meanie will kick me out of my house if... Yeah, happy day, Woodpecker. <laughs> When Ms. Meanie sees how irresponsible you've been, she will kick you out for sure, you bet. Hmm. Bye-bye. <laughs> Can the Poochie do a trick, too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. It's time for a woodpecker to do what a woodpecker's gotta do. You look like a proper Swedish doggy. Plump and warm for winter. Hiya, sugar pants. Whoa, 
the cute little puppy friend, you betcha. I'm particularly sick of you busting my roof, destroying my lawn. I'm through with it all, I tell ya. So long, don't forget to write. Miss Meanie, I would want to buy this lovely property of yours, yeah, sure. Do tell me more, Walrus. And I would yop down this tree. Oh, wait, Wally, not my tree. Write up an offer, Mr. Walrus. You buy this place and you can do anything you want with that tree. Meantime, I'm trying out the very exclusive, very modern Mondo Condos across town. And if all goes well, I'll be signing on their dotted line tomorrow. No more homeowner headaches and no more woodpecker! That's right. No more woodpecker. Mm, mm, mm. But you can't kick me out into the cruel, cruel world like this. What'll become of me? Where'll I go? You'll get off my windshield. For starters, woodpecker. <laughs> Guess I'm gonna have to show her the grass is greener on this side of the fence. <laughs> You'll be staying the weekend in our luxurious sample unit, Ms. Meanie. I tell you, dearie, a Mondo condo very nearly takes care of itself. Hot diggity! And I hope we'll find that you're Mondo condo kind of people, if you catch my meaning. Hmm. Now. Let's see what this modern condo living is all about. Please step away from the Easy Pal 9000. Step away from the system. <gasps> oh, my! The automated settings have been preset to maximize your living ease. Well, isn't this convenient? Step onto the automated floor covering. The Easy Pal 9000 will escort you into the home of the future. Oh. Whoa! Oh, Miss Needy, darling, did we hear some noise? Ah! Uh, be right with you! Lion seats! Ah! We just wanted to remind you about our little poolside social. 
you kidding? I wouldn't dream of wearing this old thing, not in a million. <laughs> and, and tell you what, why don't I whip up a little snacky treat for the little eat and greet? Whew. I'll bet my automated kitchen can help me pull something together and I'll automatically be in with the in crowd. <laughs> automatically. That's a good one. I'll make my famous turkey souffle. Your turkey is done. Holy smoking turkey! <laughs> One more modern convenience, and Meanie will beg to go back home. <laughs> oh, my soaking lumbar. <sighs> ah, time to relax. Just lie back and allow the Mondo Condo's fully automatic massage chair to work its magic. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Miss Meanie, there's something we should discuss. Why, I never. At Mondo Condo, Miss Meanie. So, Toodaloo, feel free to come back and visit. Uh, never. Now, you listen to me, Mr. and Mrs. Snooty Pants. <gasps> Who would stand for this nerve wracking, hooty tooty automated living you think is so modern? Certainly not me. That's who. So, Toodaloo, to you. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing here? Uh, how about, well, 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 I'm um, just coming to check the place out. Uh, with you selling my, my tree house, I, I gotta live somewhere, you know. <laughs> Forget it, Woody. <laughs> I wouldn't even let you live here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's music to my ears, Woodpecker. <laughs> Wow, Princess Sitting Pretty, the belle of the Indian village. Wampum. 
tails look like a couple of cheapskates. He's gonna make her a bonnet out of my top knot, eh? <laughs> that shook him up. the grand old game. Ha! Easy hole. I'll be sinking my putt in jig time. Computer, select me a driver. A wood for Woody. Just the ticket. <laughs> Nutwink, Rudy, I'm going to go visit my friend Gertrude on the 15th green. Now don't get into any mischief while I'm gone. We will, Tom. Good boys. Trade 
going to Rudolph Fun. Come on, I know a fun game. No, you don't. Now give me back my golf balls. You want them? You got them. Yes. Goofing on you, mister. Yeah, no harm, no foul, right? Wrong! I thought I told you two to stay out of trouble! 
Oh, 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 sorry. Yeah, we're sorry. It was all a misunderstanding. Yeah, we, 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 we thought you were somebody else. So sorry. Not quite, boys. Now you're going to get what's coming to you. Hmm. Looks like a 300 yard straight into a left hook dog around the sand trap. What club do you recommend? Ah, it's a wood for Woody. Now let's see you send that ball 300 yards. A hole in one! <laughs> an incredible expedition into the great outdoors. I'll forage every stream, climb every mountain. I'll boldly go where no woodpecker has gone before. <laughs> okay, that's far enough. Look, a house. <laughs> All houses got food in them. Oh, 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 oh. Forget about it. We're going dead. You see, Grant, picnics are better than just food. They're an ant's Shangri-La. Is Shangri-La French for food? Ah! Move out! the orange, Grant. Take the orange. Spray you, Woodpecker, but if you keep bothering me, I will, by Yingo. Lower in the house, Anthony. Hey, quit your squawking. You're surrounded by food, aren't you? Say, what are you doing with my grub, bub? Don't mind us, woodpecker. We got an eating disorder. As in, disorder is to go. <laughs> Detector will take care of anything that moves. So, 
You've had enough, have you? Greetings. We offer you this peace, off uh, peace offering in an attempt to form a trace truce with your tallness and big-footedness. Truce, huh? I thought you guys would come around. Now beat it so I can enjoy my day. <laughs> Food, here we come. trying to have a nice picnic over here. Keep it down. Nice picnic? Nice picnic? Oh, yeah. A nice picnic. I know just what you mean. You crazy woodpecker. You think he's stopping? I don't know. Let's take a look. Ready? <gasps> Anthony, look! Shangri-La! So long! See you later! Nice doing business with you! If you can't beat him, send him to your neighbor! No! Lance! No! Get away! <laughs> Timber! 
for the mortgage. Go right to the bank, pay it, and come right back. Remember, if you lose that money, we lose our home. 
Trust me, turtle dove. <laughs> Hey, Bob, like to buy a genuine fox fur? Uh, no, thanks. I have to pay the mortgage. How's about a hot diamond, Dad? Make some girl happy? A little gem money maker? Only ten bucks. An opportunity to go in business for yourself. Uh, hey, Bob, you want to buy a dog? Huh? Uh, I just asked you, you know, uh, you want to buy a dog? You talk. You're a talking dog. That's right, Mac. You hide absolute right. This dog will make you rich, Dad. Look, original threads. Feel that upholstery. And here's the pink slip. But if he's a talking dog, why do you want to sell him? Well, pal, uh, he talks too much. Maggie? Oh, Maggie? Hello, dear. Did you pay the mortgage? Uh, uh, not quite, dear. I bought a dog. A dog? Yes, a talking dog. A talking dog? Uh-huh, he's wonderful. He'll make us rich and famous. Oh, sure. I suppose he has a pedigree a mile long. And he's tidy, well-mannered, and he just loves to play games. Besides all this, he talks. Well, I think he's a mangy old cur. All right, if you're a talking dog, say something. Bow, wow. A talking dog. Now get out and don't come back without our money. And take your flea-bitten friend with you. Pardon me, sir. Could you use a dog that... No dog acts! But you don't understand. My dog is a... If you'll only let me explain. But this dog is different. He... I, are you hurt, Mac? A talking dog! Have a cigar, partner. Sit down. Have a drink. We're gonna be famous, pal! Tonight, we can pay off the mortgage and have plenty left. Yes, dear. Next week, Las Vegas.
Sam? Are you in bed? Yes, dear. Good night. You disagreeable wench. <laughs> After this message, we'll return to our really big movie. Blow up everything you see. Oh, being an actor must be so exciting. Oh, thank you to all the little people who made this award possible. My only regret is I've never had a chance to work in a really big movie. Say, fans, how would you like a chance to work in a really big movie directed by Swedish action director Wally Walrus? <laughs> Extras are needed in Hollywood today. I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. Walrus. I'll shoot this movie exactly as it's outlined in my little storyboard. It just doesn't sing to me, Wally. It needs something fresh. <laughs> My opus. Hi, I'm Winnie Woodpecker, and I'm here for. Oops. <gasps> Oops, sorry. Sorry, Red, you just made the biggest splash I've ever seen in Hollywood. Ha ha ha! Say, wait a minute. You've got that fresh girl next door quality that's big, big, big now. Walrus, I want Winnie Woodpecker in this picture. Oh, can you believe it, Mr. Walrus? I'm going to be in your movie. Oh, yeah. And I got just the job for you. In this scene, yeah, the bridge was blown up all kaplooey by the bad guys. You're the helpless bystander. Um, Mr. Walrus, uh, why can't the helpless bystander, me, just free herself and not be so helpless, like so? Then I could pull the brake and save myself! <laughs> the brake! The brake! Listen, you. Don't you do anything until you hear me say action. Got it. This is a rehearsal, yeah? You release the break on action. On action? Action. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to call action? Action! Like the Winnie Slavsky acting method says, when in doubt, improvise! Spectacular! The best! Wouldn't change it! Walrus, give Winnie a line in the next scene. My big break. Oh, thank you, sir. You got something, kid. Yeah, and it's going to kill me for sure. Mr. Walrus, it says the baker, that's me, screams when the bad guy comes into town. What exactly should I scream? Get down the street now! Get down the street now! Like that? No! You get down the street. You get down the street. No, 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 you, oh. <laughs> Blow up everything you see in the vest. Scene seven, action. Oh, what kind of movie heroine screams and runs away? Not Winnie of the West Woodpecker, that's for sure. Why 
Woodpecker! What are you doing? I can't take any more! <laughs> Who knew the walrus could act? exciting action sequence since blow up everything you see in Manhattan. I want you in all my movies. Oh, thank you, Mr. Big. But, you know, I think what I really want to do is direct. <laughs> and, Wally, such emotion, such frustration. You'll be my newest villain. The walrus my viewers will love to hate. Doinky doinky. Nice work, everyone. That's a wrap. We hear a penguin behind enemy lines. <laughs> Am I going to eat you? No, oh, no, no, heaven forbid. For you see, I am a vegetarian polar bear. We have sworn off all meat, my potbelly chum and I. So, you being just such a meat product yourself, are in no danger of becoming hors d'oeuvre in this facility. Tut, tut, there will be no squabbling. It could alert the enemy. Then all the glorious food in that hut would not become mine. No potato pie to be made from the mounds of spuds therein. No delicious banana nut bread. And no way in without being minced to shish kebab cubes. <sighs> what? Oh. <laughs> you destroy my element of surprise! <laughs> <laughs> How humiliating. Now you listen here, you. There will be no more of your willy-minded duckiness. Is that clear? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 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 
solution. Now you listen here, you rooter beggar robber, you you horseradish highwayman! I demand my fair share of the spoils. <gasps> oh dear, not again. <laughs> ah, once more into the breach. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, the things I must endure. As head headhunter of this here operation, I live by the headhunter's motto. If you want them, we'll get them. Required immediately. One penguin for placement in beautiful tropical Montezuma Zoo. Beg money to find her. Mm-hmm. Bingo. It's a penguin, all right. Mush! Start the sled! Start the sled! I got him! Mush! I always 
always get my man. What are you stopping for, pup? Mighty large pair of underwear for such a little feller. Ah, this'll stick him. <laughs> against this kind of thing, you know. Isn't that thoughtful? Mmm, <laughs> lapso apso oolong, my favorite. A little cream and lots of sugar. Mmm. I'm out of here. Look, kid, cut me some slack, will you? This is the offer of a lifetime. All I want is to take you to this tropical paradise. It's all expenses paid and tax deductible, plus all the fish you can eat. All right, all right, you can drive. Now, will you go with me? Phew! What a workout! Woohoo! The headhunters are finally here! We got the tank all ready! It's set to sub 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 zero temperature and comes with its own iceberg for the penguin. So, which one is the penguin? 
No, it's it's it's. To quote my great granddaddy when he was taken into captivity. Ah. 